Welcome back to TM Academy. Okay, so we have now the differentiation of trigonometric functions. Okay, so we have, so what are the differentiation of the six trigonometric functions? Okay, so the d over dx of sine x is equal to the cosine x. Or using the chain rule, the d over dx of sine u, this is equal to the cosine u times the du over dx. And the derivative of the cosine x is equal to negative sine x. Or using the chain rule, we have the d over or the derivative of cosine u with respect to x is equal to the negative sine u times the du over dx. Okay, and we have the derivative of the ta tangent x with respect to x is equal to the secant square x or using the chain rule the d over dx of the tangent u this is equal to the secant square u times du over dx okay so to understand more the differentiation of trigonometric functions let's have sample problems here Okay, let us solve the derivative of the given functions. Okay, let's have, let's say we have y is equal to the cosine of 5x minus 7. Okay, so to find the derivative of this, we will let u be equal to 5x minus 7. And our function of y now will be y is equal to the cosine u. Okay, using the chain rule, we have the dy over dx is equal to the dy over du times the du over dx. Okay, and this is equal to the d over du of y, which is the cosine u. And then d over dx of u, which is 5x minus 7. Okay, we have dy over dx is equal to what is the derivative of cosine u? That is negative sine u. Multiply it by the derivative of 5x minus 7, that is 5. Negative sine u, multiply it by 5, that is negative 5 sine u. Okay, so our derivative, dy over dx, is equal to negative 5 sine of 5x minus 7. Okay, this is our derivative. Okay, let's have another problem. Okay, our function of y is equal to 5x sine of 3x squared minus 6x. Okay, so our solution for this, v du plus u dv, using the product rule, we will let u be equal to 5x and we will let v be equal to sine of 3x squared minus 6x. Okay, we have dy over dx is equal to sine of 3x squared minus 6x. 
multiply it by t over dx of 5x plus 5x d over dx of sine of 3x square minus 6x. Okay, our dy over dx is equal to the sine of 3x square minus 6x multiplied by the derivative of 5x with, with respect to x is 5 plus 5x. Then here we will use the chain rule. So we have the d over du of sine u times the d over dx of 3x squared minus 6x. So this is by the chain rule. Okay, dy over dx is equal to sine of 3x squared minus 6x multiply it to 5. That is 5 of sine 3x squared minus 6x plus 5x. Multiply it by the derivative of sine u with respect to u. That is cosine u. Multiply it by the derivative of 3x squared minus 6x. That is 6x minus 6. Okay, so our y prime or the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 5 of sine 3x squared minus 6x plus 5x, 6x minus 6, multiply it by the cosine of 3x squared minus 6x. Okay, so this is the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, so let's have another problem. Okay, we have function of y is equal to the tangent of 3x minus 6 all over 4x. Okay, so solution is we will let u be equal to 3x minus 6 all over 4x. So our function of y is tangent u. Okay, so we have the dy over dx is equal to the dy over du times the du over dx using the chain rule. Okay, d over du of y, which is the tangent u, multiplied by the d over dx of 3x minus 6 all over 4x. Okay, so our derivative of y with respect to x is equal to what is the derivative of the tangent u? This one, that is um, the secant square u. Multiplied by the derivative of this one, so using the chain rule, or using the quotient rule rather, we have 4x d over dx of 3x minus 6 minus 3x minus 6 d over dx of 4x all over 4x square. Okay, so we take the derivative of this using the quotient rule. Okay, we have dy over dx is equal to the secant square 
wherein u is the 3x minus 6 all over 4x. Okay, multiply it by 4x. Derivative of 3x minus 6 is 3 minus 3x minus 6. Derivative of 4x is 4 all over quantity 4x squared is 16x squared. Okay. So next we have the dy over dx is equal to the secant square of 3x minus 6 all over 4x times 4x multiplied by 3 is 12x. Then negative uh, 3x multiplied by 4, that is negative 12x. And negative 1 times negative 6 is positive 6 multiplied by 4, that is 24. All over 16x squared. Okay, 12x minus 12x is 0. Okay, then dy over dx is equal to the secant square of 3x minus 6 over 4x times, we have here um, 24 all over 16x squared. Okay. 24 and 16 are divisible by 8, right? So, this one is 2, and this one is 3. Okay, we have dy over dx is equal to 3 secant square of 3x minus 6 over 4x all over x square. Okay, this is our dy over dx. Okay, so, oh wait, but we have we have 2 here, so it must be 3 secant square of 3x minus 6 all over 4x, all over 2x square. We forgot the 2. All over 2x square. Okay, there you go. Thank you for watching.